the crew now aboard the space station is uh, Commander Sunny Williams, along with her crewmates Aki Hushide and uh, Yuri Malenchenko. Williams recently took command of the station before uh, undocking activities last night. Yesterday, Sunny uh, Williams had a uh, took time off to uh, participate in the Malibu Triathlon exercise using uh, various uh, exercise equipment on the station uh, to uh, simulate the swimming. She had shown here she's actually using the advanced resistive exercise device. This is the uh, system that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. And here this simulates the muscles that she would be using as in the swimming portion of the uh, triathlon. This is Mission Control Houston again. We are watching a uh, video that was downlinked from uh, yesterday's yesterday morning's activities with the uh, the now commander of the space station, Sunny Williams, who is uh, participating in the Malibu Triathlon. Here she is using the advanced resistive exercise device. In that view, she had just removed the uh, bar that she was using to perform the um, exercise that helps to simulate the swimming portion of the uh, triathlon. Houston Station on two. We're down with the simulated swim in the transition to get ready for the bike over in the lab. Houston, copy. Again, this is a replay of that downlink video from yesterday. That was an exchange between uh, Commander Sunny Williams on her, uh, with uh, Capcom, who was serving as Capcom yesterday was uh, Josh Matthew. Now transitioning to the uh, cycle portion of the triathlon.
This is Mission Control Houston. We're getting a video replay from a uh, video that was downlinked after yesterday morning's activity just before the uh, Soyuz undocking and successful landing last night. This is the now uh, commander of the space station, Sonny Williams, who is participating in the Malibu Triathlon. She's uh, using all three pieces of equipment there, or exercise equipment there aboard the International Space Station. She started this uh, triathlon with the swim portion, using the advanced resistive exercise device that uh, simulates weightlifting here on Earth. Uh, use that uh, machine to also simulate the swim portion of her triathlon, and then now transition to the onboard stationary bicycle. Again, uh, Williams had participated in the Malibu triathlon yesterday morning before uh, the undocking of her three crewmates, previously commander, previous commander of the station, Gennady Padaka, Sergei Revan, and Joe Acaba, who had uh, spent 125 days there in space, 123 days there aboard the International Space Station. Williams now in command of the space station, along with her uh, Crewmates, flight engineers Aki Hushide and uh, Yuri Malenchenko, currently in the uh, middle of their midday meal for the day aboard the International Space Station. We are looking at replay that was sent down from yesterday morning's activity. Here now we see uh, Williams on the treadmill doing the uh, running portion of the triathlon. Again, Williams participating in the Malibu triathlon began with the uh, swim, or a simulated swim, using the advanced resistive exercise device, then transitioned to the stationary bicycle, and we now see her using the uh, onboard treadmill for the uh, running portion of that triathlon. While exercise is important for all human beings here on Earth, it is essential for uh, crew members living aboard the International Space Station, especially during uh, long duration stays. Williams is an active participant in exercise and fitness. And while uh, she has regular two-hour exercise, she had uh, been training to participate in the triathlon before her flight and uh, Sunday morning, yesterday morning, before her crew members departed from the International Space Station, she was able to participate in that Malibu triathlon. Again, she used the uh, advanced resistive exercise device to simulate the swim portion, then moved on to the uh, cycle and is now using the treadmill these are the three pieces of exercise equipment that are aboard, on board the International Space Station that uh, help to keep astronauts fit and uh, eliminate the negative effects on their bodies while staying on station there in the uh, microgravity environment of space.
This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we are getting a uh, replay of a video that was uh, downlinked yesterday. This is follow this is uh, her, uh, Sunny Williams, who is now the commander of the space station, participating in the Malibu Triathlon on her uh, third leg of the triathlon. She uh, and Houston on space to ground two. I just wanted to let you know we've finished with this activity, this athletic activity of the day. It's probably just about 9 o'clock in Malibu. Um, my watch says 148.43 uh, for the three events and the transitions. And uh, space transitions are a little bit different than Earth transitions, but they have their, their troubles as well. Hey, uh, and also a big shout out to uh, our astronaut strength and conditioning folks, uh, Mark. David, Bruce, and Jamie, who are really interested in this, particularly Bruce, who uh, got this whole workout put together, and the guys in the exercise lab, Alan Moore, who was able to uh, translate the Malibu biking into a SEVIS protocol here. So a big thanks to all those guys. Uh, another shout out to Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who is really interested in health and fitness and uh, came to Johnson Space Center to talk about astronaut health and fitness and what it's going to take to get humans back on and on to Mars. So thanks for everybody for your support and, uh, and ideas about health and fitness and how important it is uh, for humans and, uh, and getting us back into long duration space flight. So big thanks. I'm happy to be done. It wasn't easy and I'm sure everybody out in California is really excited to be done too. Take care and thank you. Well, funny, thanks very much and congratulations on completion of the first triathlon in space. And uh, absolutely, uh, it's uh, critically important to understand uh, human uh, physiology and, and how to keep you all uh, strong on orbit so that when you come home, you're strong when you get back. And we'll see proof of that later tonight when uh, Joe and uh, his crewmates, their uh, return in the Soyuz. So we're looking forward to that. And thanks again. We'll pass on your, your kudos to uh, everybody who helped put that together. Well done.